The pit beef. Chaps pit beef. Delicious stuff. Yum, 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 yum. Sandwich is almost gone. <laughs> Wait, I gotta go there. <laughs> First day. Community builds coming together. Pretty monstrosity. <laughs> Welcome to morning coffee. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. That is so cool. It's all 3D printed. Well, I'm gonna tell you that was that was uh they are saying hey Chris, but uh that was last night. It's out. 3D printed skateboard, longboard. That is awesome. All one piece. And who are you? Uh, I'm John Button. It's and what was this printed on? Uh, it was printed on a Hanson 3800, I believe. Only eight of them in the world. That is amazing. Look at that. That is cool. Thank you. Feel to grab a hammer as well. Hell yeah, I love your videos. Check it out, Uncle Jesse! <laughs> this guy makes the coolest crap around. Hey, I try. Awesome. I try. We'll see. It fails like 90% of the time, but... Oh, that's video. Oh well. Here they are building the community pieces, putting them all in the right spot so that when it's done, it'll look like this. But it'll be six and a half feet across and four feet tall, made of all these pieces. 5.9. 6.0. That is amazing. Some people got creative. Creepy Iceland did one with a chunk of his country on it. Some people left the infill exposed. This one has custom designed top layers and infill, adding their logos to it. 5.8. So we're still at 9.1 for the Very cool. Some failures. Very cool. This guy makes cool stuff. <laughs> Look at all his weapons. That's cool. Out here at Earth with Michael Pimentel, he makes some of the coolest freaking weapons on Earth. This is the guy that makes the BFG 9000. <laughs> is a micro satellite and this gentleman here is going to have it launched into space that is cool Pizza. It was good. It was 
Yeah. I'm sorry. It's yeah. possible. <laughs> yeah. No, not at all. And um, we've got the 135Fs that you can send them anywhere in the world, but with those 135Fs, I've never seen one die outside of a concrete vehicle. Yeah, no, I understand. I've, when I've had them run in for four years, great motor machine. If they don't break down in the first month, they're not going to break down for two years. Eagle is actually pro probably the number one program as well. So, um, sorry. Uh, uh, if I personally use Skycap, but um, uh, there's a very long. Oh, oh, you're going. Oh, mine's the worst. <laughs> Did you win? I was last. <laughs> Hello. My wife always comes to me to support them some way to you. How many guys are here? How many are here? Um, seven. seven. Oh, no, actually ten. Wow, ten. So, you're a giant guy so far? Well, actually, it's an add-on. Good, good. Some of the summer tickets. She's into like sewing and stuff, and I'm into 3D printing. Yeah. So you guys need to merge those two together. I know, finally, some reason for her to keep me around. Exactly. So, how did you do this? This is Goop. They make ABS, PLA, and they're coming out with Pet G Goop. Bed adhesion assistance. And it's also good for smoothing prints and adhering prints together. Makes them very strong. That's just glued together. Nice. Yep. How do you think it works? How do you think it works? How do you think? Yeah. Spring magnet. Spring? Yep. Very good. Boom. Mm -hmm. I felt the give of the magnet and I yep. figured the spring is what was shoving it. Did you do the bat? Yep, I did. Oh, on video. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I love it. That's cool. And they made that cancel print function in Octopi. Check out his printer. And you said, what was this? Uh, I call this Mr. Robot. No, but what was it? It was a liquid handling robot. Cool. So there's an example of where he canceled a print and it moved on to the next one. That's cool. These critters here brought me in an Ender 3. Thank you very much. Now you can go home. <laughs> No, they were having trouble with it, so we were working on repairing it. And, you know, their wheels were too tight, so these were doing the dud 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 from the bearings being flattened. Their bolts were too loose, so I showed them how to properly tighten the bolts all the way. He just was afraid to over-tighten, no big deal. The belts were nicely tensioned, that was all good. But the big problem was, this arm was kicked out. It was tilted. And it looks like it was miscut from the factory, because these holes are perfect. So... We took two washers and used them as shims, and now they are perfectly straight. So, we're gonna boot this Ender 3 up and get them going. Hands! Oh, yeah. Yes, he likes my videos! <laughs> oh, yeah! I watch each and every one.
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, another announcement of our winner would Brooke Marston. Brooke Marston, please go to the Friday night 3D printing hangout to the hangout group. You have just won from the landscape from our team. Thank you very much. These groups tend to be very noisy. Yes. So this one has it, it's a lot quieter. In fact, they changed up the Is that the S5? Hey. Is that the S5? S5? Okay. <laughs> Not the S5. <laughs> Sure. Ooh, looks like a saber. A wind-up car. Candy printer? Maybe. That looks like a proto gnome without the gear base, and there's the gear base. Okay. I just printed these dragons, they're pretty cool. But that Flexi Rex is awesome. Did you do this with Half the stuff on your team. Like when I see like all this stuff that everybody's bringing, I'm like, this has to be all over your house. Over actually. You get killed me, then I can't. Well, if they're not happy, I eat them. So they better stay happy. Oh, so it's a win-win for somebody. Not for oh, yeah. They're either happy or dinner. Glitter printer. It's printing with glitter.
There we go. Oh, Oh, that's genius. Yeah, that table is murdered. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be taking home.